Hello dear students welcome to Bleed Electrical this is course on energy management and audit if you're new to the channel do not forget to like share and subscribe and obviously click on the bell icon so that you get the updates of the upcoming videos I am Triveli Naidu from Department of Electrical Engineering at St Vincent Paloti College of Engineering and Technology Nagpur in the previous video series we have already discussed about energy types of energy the global and indian energy scenario carbon trading and carbon footprints the global environmental effects and we have also discussed about energy conservation if you have not watched the previous video kindly find the link in the description box and get your concepts cleared now in this video i'll be talking about how to conserve energy in commercial building lighting systems and hvac systems what is the meaning of hvac system that is heating ventilation and air conditioning systems okay so let's get started energy conservation opportunities in lighting systems in buildings so how can you conserve energy in a building in lighting systems by installation of energy efficient fluorescent lamps in place of conventional fluorescent lamps okay then you can install cfls in place of incandescent lamps you can install metal halide lamps in place of mercury or sodium vapor lamps because it consumes more energy then you can have installation of high pressure sodium vapor lamps for application where color re rendering is not important like we see in the street lights we also can use led panel indicator lamps in the place of filament lamps so you find this normally we used to use the filament lamps in order to see if the phase is on or off now it has been replaced with these led panel indicators okay this is how you can conserve energy via the lighting systems then you can have grouping of lighting system to provide greater flexibility in lighting control you can install microprocessor based controllers now this circuit is mainly designed for controlling the lighting systems in a building so that is how you can do in the commercial buildings then optimum usage of day lighting obviously when not required turn the switch off turn the lights off we can utilize max to max of sun energy we can have that day lighting okay then installation of exclusive transformers for lighting okay you can have you can use a transformer separately for the lighting system and it has to be energy efficient then installing servo stabilizers for the lighting feeder this could be done then installation of high frequency electronic ballast in place of conventional ballast so all these techniques could reduce the energy consumption in your residential buildings so this is how lighting system has a lot of energy saving opportunities because it has been said that a lot of energy is consumed in the commercial and residential buildings only now let's come let us talk about hvac system okay hvac system what is heating ventilation air conditioning system let us see now hvac system obviously it is standing for heating ventilation and air conditioning now hvac system provide and maintain a comfortable environment okay you feel comfort zone at your home cozy homes okay why does it how is it possible because of the hvac system then to provide thermal comfort you need an hvac system because if if the country is too cold and you want heating so that is also possible with the help of hvac system then you have filtration of air now the people are separately purchasing air purifiers okay but if your hvac system is efficient enough the filtration is done there and there itself okay there and there okay now another reason could be the adequate ventilation obviously in order to have proper cross ventilation the hvac system has to be used and finally maintaining good indoor air quality there has to be proper 
air inside there should because we we stay in today's world we have a lot of pollution okay and we are also the sufferers okay it's not only the people walking on the road will face all these pollution issues it is also the dust particles are getting accumulated on the windows you find dust everywhere inside your rooms so some some arrangement has to be done in order to control all these things so hvac systems are the most visible options you have because you are anyways constructing a building so having an hvac system really helps a lot then what is this hvac system doing this is what it looks like you might have seen this but you might not be knowing that is it it is an hvac system so all these ducts and all you find it everywhere in your building okay so what are these parts what is it comprising of what does it do let us see now the heat gain in a house could be because of so many reasons okay it is said that weatherization impacts 13% on heat gain in a home okay then your roof ceiling gives 6% of heat then your windows gives 48% of heat then heat is also contributed by walls and doors 19% of heat is being contributed by walls and doors and all the human activities and the people residing inside the houses contribute to about 14% of heat gain in a room okay so this is the thing you might have experienced this for example there's a banquet hall okay it it could only take 200 people but because the guests have come now so there are 500 people in the hall so you will start feeling hot right in spite of the air conditioning being present because it was not designed for it so this is an example so every home is being designed with a certain limitation so it could adjust that much of activity and that much amount of people okay as far as it is said that the thermal comfort is experienced only when the temperature in summer is 25 degree celsius and in winter if it is 20 degree celsius if not so if it is exceeding 25 degree celsius we try to feel uncomfortable and also so also in the winter season if the temperature reduces below 20 degree celsius we feel uncomfortable and what about relative humidity it should be always 30 to 60 percentage because in many of the cities where there are coastal areas you feel a lot of humidity and that is also pretty much irritating you might have experienced it now let us understand the basics of hvac system hvac system the building automation device can be used to determine whether to heat or cool the space and to what temperature for example this is my room and the room has to be having a particular environment the particular temperature it will sense if it is hot or if it is cold and accordingly it will work okay the system then either heats or cool the coils inside now where is this coil this coil is kept over here if i feel hot then the coil will try to give me a cold environment okay it will start doing cooling process and if i feel very cold then it will try to give me a hot temperature okay so that is how the system works when air brought in from of outside is pushed through this coil it is either heated or cooled before being pushed into the living space now this is the outside air it has to be treated first of all the air from outside should not go into the room directly so there is it has to go through certain air handling unit okay then at the same time air will be displaced from the room back into the system because now there has to be a proper ventilation also whatever temperature is being maintained whatever air it is getting it has to be recycled so whatever air is it is getting it is recycling it to the air handling plant again so let us see how it works now first of all the outside air is now fed to the air handling plant now this air handling plant has filters inside which purifies the air because a lot of dust particle toxic elements might creep inside the room so it has to filter all those things there is a fan inside so that 
the air that is being given into this air handling plant gets concentrated towards the coil okay and then you have this coil now you see a boiler over here say for example i'm feeling very cold and i need heating so this boiler will come into picture okay this boiler will obviously energize this coil and a hot environment will be given to this room okay this is what if say for example i am feeling too hot then i need to have air conditioning so in that case what happens this is the ventilated room okay now in that case if i am feeling very hot i i want to have a cold environment i need to have air conditioning so then in that case you have a chiller you have a cooling tower and this is again fed to the coil now this chiller is actually comprising of a lot of elements okay it is having compressors it is having so many condensers okay now these compressors generally give you high temperature and high pressure now this high pressure and high temperature thing has to be resorted so here you have a cooling tower so that all the air that has been circulated cools down and this cold air is then fed to the coil now this evaporation coil acts like a cooling medium then this ventilated room will have air conditioning and obviously the cross ventilation will go on and the cycle will go on so this is all about hvac system now in this system there is a lot of scope of saving energy like for example the boiler itself in the boiler if we if we increase the efficiency in the boiler itself we can reduce such a lot of energy consumption so let us see the techniques in which energy conservation can be done in hvac systems in a building okay first of all by upgrading plant with energy efficient technology without improving the safety of the building then cooling load this is the cooling load comprises of a lot of energy usage a lot of energy consumption so how can you do do this the first step in energy saving on hvac system is to reduce the cooling load the amount of electricity air conditioning systems use also depends on cooling load okay the amount of heat the system has to remove there are several steps to reducing this for example take a practical example of a room okay if ac is turned on what you say please close the door you shut all the windows why do you do so just because the energy the heat energy from outside should not come inside otherwise the energy consumption of air conditioner will be more normally we intend to close the door close the windows while the ac is turned on so this is about the cooling load that is what has been explained then insulate the cooled space as i told you it involves implementing various measures such as sealing insulation windows glazing blinds or awnings door swips all will contribute to creating a thermally efficient shell that can be dramatically reducing the cooling load on hvac system while ensuring that comfortable internal temperatures are maintained so this is how you can conserve energy as far as cooling load is concerned then minimize the use of appliances and lightings because obviously if you are using bulbs you are using cfls lightings fan everything is ultimately giving you liberating the heat obviously because energy can neither be created nor be destroyed it can be converted from one form into another form so here the electrical energy is getting converted into heat energy so obviously you have to minimize the use of appliances and lighting okay all the lights emit heat so light and equipment that are not required at a particular time should be switched off no other alternative then replacing the conventional boilers with condensing boilers as i told you for heating purpose we are using these boilers if we have efficient ones then energy conservation will be achieved 
okay then investing in variable speed drives for motors because these conventional motors that are being used in day to day life they are consuming more and more energy they are not energy efficient so if we replace it by variable speed drives then we could achieve a lot of energy saving okay these are the images or glance of a variable speed drive if you use these variable speed drives you find the graph c energy saving is to such a lot of extent with this dark this blue color is indicating the variable speed drive and this much is when you are using the normal motor okay so a lot of energy is being saved and obviously your money is also being saved then ensure that controls are in place and hvac operation reflects demand so H hvac loads vary at different times and in different parts of the building throughout the day so you have to have a proper command or control about this well set time and occupancy control should ensure that system only operate when and where required so there will be it could operate only in business hours not always okay so you have to make sure the timings about it it is also crucial to check settings regularly many systems are set incorrectly because of forgotten short term adjustments hai yeah, na many a time what happens in a refrigerator itself let us take for example a refrigerator if it is if it is not sensing and adjusting automatically what will happen the freezer is completely frozen and there is all ice over there okay and then what you need to do you have to turn off the refrigerator yeah in order to because you have not adjusted it properly you had adjusted it for the summer season so it was taking a more or less it was cooling more efficiently now it is winter season i don't need that much of adjustment so that that could also happen with the hvac system also there has to be continuous monitoring of hvac system as well so we could know the adjustment then installing a building energy efficient system okay which offers close building and monitoring of building service performance including hvac it allows automatic control of hvac systems all these things are possible in in fact if we can control our television right sitting in the office with the help of our mobile phones obviously because all these things have been designed nowadays all all things are being interfaced nowadays so this is also possible it is possible to control your hvac system and there could be a continuous monitoring because in industries this this is what happens we are here we are talking about the buildings but in industries there is a control room which indicates what is the temperature of such and such place what is the temperature of the boiler one has to sit and monitor all these things and if required have to do certain adjustments then bems can reduce energy cost by allowing system performance to be monitored and settings to be changed so bes means building energy management system okay these systems are nothing but it is it has altogether a lot of sensors working for the uh, working for monitoring this energy consumption so it could be all automatic you need not go and operate it manually so this all things can be done that's all for this lecture okay variable speed drives okay this allows motor driven loads such as fans and pumps to operate in response of this is what we have discussed initially okay while we were discussing about the boilers now Thank you so much that's all for this video lecture i hope you like this please be generous enough to click on the like button if you like the video and you gained knowledge thank you so much keep awaiting for the next video which will be on energy audit